Hey, Don, back with um, React OS um, in my AS Rock machine. Try to get here on one. I should have done that ahead of time. You know, one one handed setup here. But uh, okay, so what I ended up doing was um, I used my arrow keys to halt it so I could read the thing and get, you know where I could tell what was going on. And then I hit N for no on that uh, prompt that goes by so fast and then I hit enter and this time it stopped it, I saw this screen and it was actually on the live CD debug and which is evidently what I booted last time I, it was hung up I had to do a hard shutdown uh, so uh, I'm gonna hit you know live CD first and see what happens and then I don't live CD screen I don't know what that is a log file might be helpful find out what's been going on it may tell you like you know whether or not you think it's gonna boot it all but right now I want to just see if it'll work this could have been what it did last time I don't know uh, it looked like it was on uh, down a little lower when I saw that just for like two seconds a minute ago and uh, that same screen and it looked like it was down the second or third one okay we got a blue screen Ooh, well it's just like Windows isn't it Problem has been detected. Has been shut down to prevent damage to your computer. 101 initialization, initialization failed. 101 or I01 initialization failed. First time you've seen this screen, you start your computer, follow these steps, check about hardware. So this is basically a Windows blue screen. Let's see what. Problems can you disable remove any newly installed hardware. D disable BIOS memory options such as caching or shadowing. If you need to use safe mode to remove or disable components, restart your computer. F8 uh, to oh okay to F8 to do advanced startup options. Then select safe mode. Huh. Now how would you get a chance to hit F8 during the boot of this? I don't think hitting F8 would do anything right now. And then you're going to hit Control Alt Delete to get it to reboot. Let's see if I can do that with one hand. Ah, I think it may be hung up. Let's see, Control. Last time I tried to do this, one time I was doing this and I kept hitting, I couldn't see it good because I was holding the phone and I finally, I put my phone down there at my hand out there in the video and then I saw later that I was hitting the Windows key instead of control uh, instead of alt <coughs> I'm looking down there trying to see what I'm saying dang it okay so it's hung up you can have to hard shut it down and that will evolve what happened last time I'm just gonna do it instead of trying sitting here talking about it <coughs> so I had to on this machine it only has an automatic Recognize, recognition <laughs> of the uh, SD card and anytime you hard shut it down every time you hard shut it down it doesn't see it so it goes back to the uh, Windows uh, the hard drive and it's that's Windows 7 on this machine and uh, what it'll do is get to a rescue screen watch me be well you can either it always wants to go to rescue and launch startup repair so I just hit my arrow keys just to stop it from going ahead and automatically booting. Then I gotta go down here, <coughs> take my. It took me a while to figure this out too. I don't imagine you can see it, but taking my USB stick, SD card, and the USB adapter out, putting it in the other, putting it in the other slot, which seems to make it remount. Then I gotta get down here and hit Control Alt Delete does it right away when it's not locked up like it was now let me get ready I've got to be fast if it does it again I won't keep making videos of doing that I'll just just uh, stop the video and start again I guess I, I didn't I hated to not video you know if it works so I Instead of waiting until I saw if I got it working, I went in and 
started another video as soon as I got it rebooted. <coughs> okay, there's Hirons. I know Hirons will boot on here. I think it will. But I was wanting to try this one because I thought it would might be more likely to run. I never did say I, um, I want to uh, I'll hit no again. It's hard to say I hit yes, but let's go ahead and hit no for now. Because at least I get a screen. Oh yeah, you got to hit that. Okay, see now it went to live debug automatically. Oops, and I didn't do anything, so it did it all by itself. Oh, that's what I was in last time, just like I thought. But I guess it's going to, it's either hung up, or maybe it was not hung up. Maybe it was just, you know, it, I've seen, now I realize what I'm getting. Uh, it's a diagnostic, Windows diagnostic screen, they call it, they, I think they call it something like that. So, you know, it's diagnosing every file to see what's wrong. That's what debugging is, you know what I mean? Which, uh, debug actually makes kind of more sense to me nowadays. So, uh, now I get it. Um, <coughs> so, but it, you know, it may not have been actually hung up. It might, uh, um, miss your mind to take anywhere from 10 minutes to 30 minutes to more, you know, depending. But uh, waiting on it, I don't, I, you know, if this acts like Windows, then it usually never got me anywhere other than maybe seeing where the error, you know, some errors were. But usually they're not errors you can really fix, like, manually. I mean, not without a lot of trouble. So, uh, okay, let me stop the video and... Um, I, I don't know, I'll, match, I'll try a few other buttons here, and then we'll see. Okay, bye.